Hi, I'm, I'm gonna explain some tricks about display. Well, you can draw in layers, which is very useful. Well, in this file we have hero, and we have a layer for the arms, and the hair, and we, and we have the, the shield above the hero, and the shield below the hero. If you want to export one, only the hero, you can disable these layers of the shield, and then we go here. And we can we can export the, the layers we want and the frames we want but we are not using frames here and if we want to export the shield we can choose to export the, the layers we want still below or still above and this is very useful for collisions in the in the video game can lock the layers if you want, so you cannot draw in, in one layer or, or move things in this with these options you can uh, move layers as you want and many other stuff. Uh, well if you use frames you can uh, this is very useful because you can draw another hero and change quickly with the arrows to see the reference I, I used the same position for the eye and the hand you can, as you can see and well layers uh, are very useful and you can make variants I use the the frames here on the right to to make a uh, several variants and compare them and I can export uh, each one to a different image. Here, uh, well, we have the sword and the hero is on one layer. We have the we have the sword above, the sword below the hero, the wave. Well, and we can export this in one image. Uh, which would be so this, this would be used for the collisions with enemies and we can ex we can export the hero in a different image but this allows us to see everything together uh, and how this will be in the game this is a similar hero which I made well uh, as you can see, uh, if you see the body in this animation and, and the other running one, it's exactly the same thing. But I, I, I drew the arms in a different way. The one is for running and the other one is for the sword. But I only knew I only needed to draw the the arms only only once and the body. I only drew the body once. Just to this and made both uh, sprites very quickly. We don't need to repeat uh, all the work. And well, with the bow, it's it's the same. You can. Use the layers to draw the bow, to draw the bow above and below. If you want to export only the bow, you, the best way is to export the, the bow above in one in one image, the bow below in another one, and the hero in a different image. So you can put all the all the images in a different layer in the in the game engine, and the bow will be displayed in the correct way, and the bow will be independent of the hero because well you don't need to redraw 
the borders for the bow below because well the, the head is different but you don't need to redraw the these borders and, and gaps if you are using the the same bow because we are using layers well for for enemies it's very useful to to use layers uh, in many ways this enemy can throw the, the head and the and the arms so you can see how will how he, how he will be when he throw the the head he will stay like this when he throw the arms he will be like this if he throw the head and the arms he will be like this and you can see the each part of the body the shadow is in a different layer because it it's in the it doesn't allow collisions in the game but well, uh, these images in this part are, are, not, are not used for the game, but only to show how the enemy will be when walking. But in the game, we split the parts and, and use them for animations. These are the, the, part, the parts we use for, for the game. Well, uh, using frames is very useful. Here we have uh, frames, which are these columns here above, and well, we have many, many layers for a couple of legs and, and the body and the shadow. You can see the same animation here. This screen is very useful. So we may be working with this on high, on, on very big size and see how it will look in the game on the right mm. using layers is very useful because if you are drawing you can change to the next or previous layer i mean fr uh, frame with the arrow keys very fast and, and you draw to make it smooth well these are locked uh, well, you can also make many things. If you want this to have only four legs, you can export it like this and create a well, a, a spreadsheet, which is here. Uh, I think you can do it here. You choose in horizontal way, and well, I w if you want visible layers, you can choose the frames. I will choose all frames. You can choose the file here, and well, and you can get the, the final file here. With all the with all the frames, uh, I recommend to to put all the animations in the same in the same column, so you can generate all the spreadsheet at once in, in rows in the PNG. Well, other useful thing is related to the to the grid. You can you can choose the size of the grid here, and uh, well, you have two two grid, have two, two grids. One is the pixel grid, which is only shown in when you when you zoom, and the other is the blue one. You can modify. And you can choose to, to hide the grids, the normal one and the, the pixel grid here. When you select something, you can, well, if you have this option enabled, which is 
activated with shift and s you can instead oh, you can choose uh, things snapped to the grid well you can move selections with arrow keys apart from the mouse in this way you can also uh, if you use the, the shift key you can move it on the grid which is very useful when you make uh, animations like this if you want a copy of this of this hair and we want here then we move it there Well, you can also uh, you make a selection and you press Control when you when you move it makes a copy instead of moving the, the original like this. And well, there are many many other useful shortcuts and you can find them here. You can look for them and modify the, the piece you want to, to use for them but I recommend to keep the same this is all